G'day guys, Tor here from Pro Stock Tips, and it looks like Terracom is on a bit of a breakout. So it's sitting around 27 cents, but I believe it could break out to 60 to 80 cents uh, in the next few within the next few weeks. Um, you know, it was sitting down at uh, 17 to 20 cents for quite a while there, um, and now it's moved up quite quickly within the past week. Um, and this is probably all due to the coal prices, which have been making an impressive comeback. Um, so coal prices have come back and so has Terracom. Now it's surpassed its previous local peak there of 25, 26 cents. It's now sitting at 27 cents. So it looks like this could definitely be a breakout with not much resistance on the charts um, above, that, above that level. So there's certainly potential there for a breakout. In my opinion, I could of course be wrong. Now um, I did talk about this in my previous video, crazy coal stocks. Um, you know, in which this is the one that this coal stock that I preferred out of all the ASX listed coal stocks, uh, Terracom uh, was my favorite choice, uh, simply because it's making an insane amount of cash um, at these coal prices relative to its valuation. So in the December quarter, it made 82 million Australian dollars in EBITDA. And in January, it made $38 million in EBITDA. For that for that month alone now if you were to annualize that right that would be 460 million australian dollars in ebitda versus their market capitalization of um of 200 million which would imply a pe ratio of 0 0.5 which is just like these ratios is are going to get out of hand you know the share price um, is going to have to um you know go up to, in order to um you know, bring these ratios to a reasonable level. Otherwise, once uh, Terracom pays off its debt, which is standing at 114 million US dollars, um, then they will start to accumulate cash and they'll be able to pay out a uh, dividend. And if the share price remains at these levels, then obviously the dividend yield's gonna be um, astronomical in excess of, at, at or in excess of 20%. Uh, yield. So obviously the share price is going to have to catch up um, to bring down that dividend yield to a reasonable level or otherwise it's going to end up with a great dividend yield if the share price doesn't go up. Um, that all depends on the uh, price of coal, obviously. So price of coal has rallied um, and last time uh, it reached these levels, it came down very abruptly, a uh, very sharp drop off. However, this time it hasn't yet shown signs of abatement um, significantly, and there's plenty of factors that could support the coal uh, demand and plenty of issues that could affect the supply. Uh, so there's certainly potential that any decrease in the coal price could be gradual and with multiple levels of support. So if it hit reach 150 again, then you know perhaps it might sit there for a sustained period. Um, in any event, Terracom, the longer it's, the coal prices stay elevated, the longer Terracom can be accumulating cash, um, which can then later return to shareholders. So certainly um, coal's, coal prices are what we want to look at here. Now, obviously we're shifting to the green energy revolution, which is where I invest most of my money, copper, lithium, that sort of thing. And uh, both those um, commodities are going off at the moment. Uh, however, you know, coal's also, um, you know, looking at is at record high prices. So essentially, um, there's still an opportunity in coal uh, in the shorter term, you know, as the prices are great. So maybe in long term, longer term, you might want to exit coal uh, and fossil fuels, potentially, um, depending on what the investment level is. Um, in those commodities because obviously if they under invest then the, the prices are going to stay high for longer um, allowing uh, investors to keep to make a lot of money on these fossil fuel stocks so anyway that's something to monitor um, you know but it looks like anyway something to focus on for the short term for that breakout to 60 cents um, you know is what I'm targeting could of course be wrong and there are I do think there are better stocks at the moment than Terracom um, but certainly, you know, it's something to look at um, because it's going up. 
by the look of it, by the look of the chart. So, and the fundamentals in which they're making astonishing earnings. Um, so yeah, essentially they also have a 10 year mine life after extending their mine life at Blair Athol. Um, I don't think that the, the, the January month uh, EBITDA even included their, um, their African coal sales. So, you know, certainly they're making a lot of money here. Um, you know, they've certainly a very high potential stock at the moment and it looks like they're breaking out. So thanks for watching guys and good luck.